Hey, 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 it's Benjamin, Tribe of Benjamin podcast, podcasting the truth. Listen, y'all, today is November 8th, maybe that's what I'll title the video, two days, number two, my number, two days after uh, President Donald Trump stole the show when I say stole the show, I mean the trumpet is blasting for everyone else to hear who didn't hear it before. Now, anyone that's been following my YouTube channel, you can go back to about four or five months ago. Um, it's always been love for Trump. Did I vote? Never have. Never will. But that doesn't mean I'm vocal about um, the leaders in this country that doesn't mean I'm vocal as a leader in this country. And I talk about um, just not just myself. I, I bring up, you know, these are kings. These are princes. These are powerful people in our country where I live, America. That's how I'm able to upload this video to YouTube. There's a lot of countries where you cannot do this. So I'm just speaking as a free man. Uh, with the freedom of speech, I'm not one to abuse my power anymore like I have before. I've went, I've done too much on the internet before and I don't do that anymore. I'm 33 now, birthday just passed. I've been sounding the trumpet through praising of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. Hallelujah, hallelujah has been the trumpet. And now that we have the Trump back in office, I'm just happy to see the prophecy being fulfilled. We all have pieces to the prophecy, those who are in the know. And here we are, voila. So when I made that video on October 26, talking about Back to the Future, look at Back to the Future 2. That's what we're living it out, all right? You know, Biff, Trump, future 2015, this is 2024. In other countries, um, it's not the year 2024. But here, it's 24 hours on the clock. We're in the, you could say, fourth quarter. And the change of... The worldwide globe is here. And the, the biggest change is that this trumpet is going off. Everyone is getting in line, not for just Donald J. Trump, the president, but um, we're all hearing the wake up call to get in line and get in action. So I'm just wanted to say this is what I see going on. And I really just want all the men to continue to. Be vocal. Speak your heart. Speak your mind. The freedom of speech is here. It's more important to have a good time and setting to have these freedom of speech conversations with each other without any person being offended and walking away of what is just a conversation. Whether you agree, whether your opinions have changed or you're swayed. Or where you just agree to disagree and you walk away. But I'm loving the dialogue from men finally taking that muzzle off. And um, it's just a lock, that unlocked state of mind where men can have a conversation and um, all the distractions can get left behind. So let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. I'm seeing it through the Internet. I'm seeing men talking. I see the discourse. I see men that are happy to, to speak their mind instead of just being passive or being um, stepped over or stepped on. We're all getting in position to be able to have that conversation. The same conversation I said that will rule this nation. So uh, the world is watching America. They're watching our transition. And the Trump has sounded. Donald J. Trump is the president. I called it. On another one of my YouTube channels, 
And um, now, now we can really all just get in line, you know, like Lego blocks. We're all part of this, this puzzle. So, um, man, keep speaking your mind. Um, it's happening, whether it's your coworker, whether it's your brother, whether it's, you know, somebody at church, whether it's with your leaders, whether it's with your family, it's time for men to, to open up and let it out between each other. And, um, let's get to work. We got work to do. So, um, keep speaking up guys. The Trump is sounding. Everyone's got to get in line. So salute to my next video.